here we are. Filter machine pump. Okay. So 115 volts. One and four. This is actually a nice pump. I like this. So right, we're gonna run our terminal one, terminal four, and then the unit will run clockwise from the drive end. And if we need it to run counterclockwise, which I haven't checked yet, I'll look, um, then we actually just have to reverse the red and the black that already exist. So you would pull these two and just swap them. But regardless, one and four is what we're tapping into. It came with a new uh, or pump gasket. So, and kudos, man. Like I said, we overnighted this and UPS came through, showed up on time. Everything's gonna be blurry for this one because we've got the haze of the oil on everything. All right So yes, back panel does come off um, right, Here's our here's our pump There's our pump so this bracket is going to The front has bolts that are gonna loosen and then this is gonna push back and unhook from here and then it's gonna drop down and be able to pull out. Uh, when I was looking to see if I can unhook the electrical from back here, not so much. All right, hang on. There is not an uglier job in this building than to have to change one of these motors, man. It's the absolute worst. Obviously, see we got, uh, yeah, she don't want to turn. But I got to clear out the pump, too, because the pump could also be, oh, yeah, that is. All right, so you're supposed to hit it and zoom, right? And here, I can't even turn it. All right, so the, uh, I'll tell you the whole story instead of hiding it from you. I can't break loose the uh, actual pump. That's the pump motor. Hang on. So that's the pump motor. And I cannot break loose those disconnects. Like, I can't. I got in there with all the gumption I could, and I couldn't. I couldn't. So instead, I just pulled the pump motor off, or the pump. That's the physical pump, right? So it spins, and it spins clean. It's good. So I've cleaned off the face of this with the scraper and I've got a new gasket to come on and I'm going to set this new motor and plate back in here that aligns and then there's four big long bolts that go in through the back. But yeah, man, this is not the, the, the textbook way to do it. The textbook way to do it is you unhook all this and then you pull the whole dealio out. But thank God, like I said, this is spinning super smooth. I mean, it spins. If not, and my problem was in here, I have to disassemble this and really clean it, but I don't. So, lucky, lucky in this nightmare. Catch a break. Okay, so before I close that, I need to make sure it's spinning properly. So when I turn this on, it should blow. If I'm wrong, it's gonna suck oil out of the fryer and blow it out here. And if I'm right, it's gonna suck air in here and blow it out the fryer. Bada bing. We are spinning correctly, we put the cover on. All right, we got the valve open, let's fire it up. And yes, the fryer's off, it's just still hot. Yep. He's bubbling up. So let's just, we need to filter the whole system, but for now, let's close that. Watch it bring the oil up. And it's bringing the oil up into the belly. She's working. So let's open that. I'm going to leave that open. We're going to let this filter for a little bit. There was a lot about that job that I didn't tape because it was just a nightmare. Everything was greasy. Everything was grosser. Uh, I mean, it, there isn't a worse job. Those are burns. I mean, everything is just... every The, the pots, 
or 400 degrees in there there's a heat strip it's a nightmare but I had to take apart the whole drain system you can look back the actual big three inch piping had to come out yeah just yeah so i know it was not all that technical and helpful a video uh, i didn't show you how i physically dropped the tray and apologies for all that but uh, just wanted to follow up and say sorry have a good weekend